Okay, so we have a sense of what a function of x means. It means you put in something for x, boom, and out pops an exact one value for y at most. Okay, but now how can we write this thing, this kind of object, in an algebraic way? So if you want to actually plug in numbers in something, you can actually do it very, very accurately rather than just trying to estimate on a picture or something. Well, it turns out that you know, one way of doing it is, as we've seen, we write y equals 2x squared minus 1. But suppose that I say to you, OK, now what I want you to do is find out what the y value is, like when x equals 2. OK, what would you do there? Well, you'd plug in 2, and you get 2 squared, which is 4. You'd multiply that by another 2 out here in front, and you get 8. You subtract 1, you say, oh, it's 7. y equals 7. So when x equals 2, y equals 7. But look how difficult it was. It was almost like a mathematical tongue twister for me to actually say that question to you or ask you that question. In particular, I'd have to say the following. What is the value for y when x equals 2? Well, that was a long statement just to say plug in 2 for x and see what you get. So in fact, mathematicians have come together and realized that there's a way of sort of saying that in a very short, short, sort of condensed manner. So what I'm going to do now is just give you a little inkling into the little, little window into the, the world of mathematics and the language of mathematics. No new ideas, just new notation, new language. OK. So let's think about what's going on here. Remember, we're thinking about this as a little machine here. It's sort of like you think of it as sort of a machine. I'll call it f for function. And what you do is you input something. In this case, you input x values. So you input some x value. And then you input the x value. It goes through this thing. And then something comes out, just like what happens here. In this case, the would be the following. I would take a number, square it, multiply it by 2, and subtract 1. That's the little machine that's going on doing the work. And then it spits out something. And what it spits out is basically, or not basically, it's exactly some y value. So that's what we have here. We have this input, goes around, does something, comes out here. Now if I call that machine f for function, well then what could I say this target thing might look like? If I put in an x, let me just say the output will be f of x. So that's just the y value that I'm going to spit out. Now it's just notation. Don't think of this as anything more than just a little notational thing. But what it's saying is the following. f of x, that's how you read that, by the way. If you see this in a children's story, you read this as f of x. You don't say f parentheses x. You say f of x. And what does it mean? It means f must be some sort of function machine. And this entire thing here, that number, is the number you get after you plug x through the machine. So you push x into the machine, and the answer is f of x. So in fact, I can now write this as just f of x equals 2x squared minus 1. So these two things are saying the exact same thing, but this is my new notation. Instead of writing y, I'm going to write it as a function of x where I'm very explicit. So y is a function f of x. So what that means is if you input a value for x in here to find out what this equals, I just plug it into here. So let me actually show this to you with very specific examples. It's one of these things that you first look at and you go, eh, I don't know what's going on here. But then once you start seeing it again and again, you see it's not a big deal. Let me show you how to read this notation. If I write f of 2, what does that mean? Well, that means the following. I want to know the value of this function machine if I plug in 2 as the input for x. So all I have to do, it's actually really pretty neat. All I do is I go back to here, and wherever I see an x, I'm going to insert 2. So I just do it sort of blindly. Wherever I see an x, I plug in 2. And now I see what that equals. Well, now I can compute that. That's going to be 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8 minus 1 is 7. Da -ding. So in fact, look, remember before when I said the original question, find the value that y equals when x equals 2. Well, now all I can say is find f of 2. Bing. You see how easier that is? It's just notation. But what this says is find the value of this whole thing if I plug in a 2 for x. That's all the notation means. Let's do a whole bunch more. What's f of 1 mean? Well, I go back to the function, and wherever I see an x, I'm going to replace all x's by just whatever's in this thing. In this case, it's 1. So I see 2 times 1 squared minus 1. Well, if you compute that, it's 1. I'm evaluating the function in a really, really, really easy way. I'm just plugging in whatever's in this parentheses wherever I see x. So for example, what would be f of 0 be? Well, wherever I see an x, I plug in a 0. 
So I put a zero in here, zero squared is zero, times two is zero, minus one is negative one. So once you start getting the hang of it, not a, not a bad thing. Let's try a, a really hard one. Now this one actually really freaks people out. So I'm actually going to pose this to you and let you try to, to answer this one yourself. But, but if, you, if you get freaked out, don't worry, by the way. You are with every single other human being who's first seen this thing. But see if you can do it. See if you can defy the odds and figure out what would this equal? F of A. Try it right now. 